It is that time of year again when I frantically, a few days before December 1st, decide to do Vlogmas and have absolutely no content planned or really anything besides a dream <laughs> to post nearly every single day in December. So here we're doing it again. I really loved my series last year. I don't know how this one's going to go, truthfully, because I'm not leaving the house and I'm here in Maryland and life is a little bit, uh, it's very, very relaxed these days. I don't really leave the house very much. I still thought it'd be fun to show you guys what I'm up to because chances are you guys are kind of in the same boat of being kind of relaxed. So I thought it'd be realistic and I thought it'd be fun just to show you guys what I'm up to work-wise and what I do on a daily basis here at home in Maryland. I did leave LA for a bit. I've been out of LA for a month now here in Maryland and I'll be here for another month. So I'm here all of December. So you'll be getting nice, fun Maryland vlogs, the good old state of Maryland. We are here at my parents' house. I know I've been away from YouTube for a bit um, or just like really really sporadic with my uploads and i say this literally every time but i just feel like i've maybe lost the spark a little bit with youtube and i let it kind of slip from my hands knowingly and now i've kind of decided that i don't want that to happen anymore and i'm fighting to get it back so here i am having fun with editing and uploading videos and connecting with you guys because i've missed it so uh, that's what we're gonna do on on vlogmas uh 2020 <laughs> Can't believe it. Okay, so we're gonna roll the intro. I actually just made this intro. I'm gonna talk about it later in the vlog, but I made it using clips of me as a two-year-old in 1997, opening presents on Christmas Eve, so enjoy. <laughs> everyone it is what is today it is november 30th you are watching this on the first of december and i just woke up i just woke up from quite the dream i wish i could remember it honestly i feel like i always have these like crazy dreams these days and it's like on the tip of my tongue like i feel like i remember it ever so slightly and then it's just like poof gone so anyway <laughs> good morning everyone I need to brush my teeth. I need to put some moisturizer on my face. My skin is really not happy with me right now. I have like mascara under my eyes. I thought for sure I took off all my makeup last night, but you know. So I'm gonna do my morning routine, I suppose you could say. And then I have work to do. Lots of things to do today. I have podcast research to do. I have to record my podcast for this Thursday. It's Monday right now, but I need it to be in the hands of my agency today. Um, that's exciting. This is actually the first episode that I'm sending off to my agency to edit, which I'm like freaking out about because I'm one of those parents, like <laughs> I'm one of those parents. Never thought I'd be saying that. I'm one of those like podcast parents where I'm so like particular about my podcast and so many people I've spoken to were like, oh, you edit your own podcast. That's crazy. And I'm like, yeah, I do. Um, but I've recently come to the conclusion that I am working myself to the ground. I need to ask for help when I need it. And so my agency is helping me edit this week's episode and I'm like freaking out about it, but it's going to be fine. Um, so we're recording that today. Have a couple of things to do for clients. I have a mood board to put together this morning. Um, have a sponsored post that's going up today because it's Cyber Monday. It's like really gloomy here today. I'm definitely one of those people whose mood is directly impacted by the weather. So we'll see how my mood is today. <laughs> Hopefully it's great. I'm working on this time around with Vlogmas being a bit more chatty with you guys. I feel like last time I was like so focused on showing you guys like what I was up to and things and now I'm gonna be a lot more chatty and just tell you guys like what's on my mind because um, I have no one else really to talk to. So <laughs> just kidding, <laughs> but actually. Okay, so I'm gonna brush my teeth. I'm using this moisturizer, well, that never gets old. And this camera is just smarter than me. So I'm using this Burst Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream. So exciting, love it. The lighting in my mom's bathroom is super fluorescent too, so it just makes me look really good. I've been loving this Tatcha Lip Mask. It's peach seed lip jelly, actually. Stand corrected, and it's so nice. Beautiful, okay. So 
So I'm just sitting here sipping my coffee. I'm drinking it out of this mug. This is the restaurant that my dad used to manage in downtown Annapolis. Um, it's called McGarvey's and it's a saloon and oyster bar. Sipping my morning coffee and I am actually working on the Vlogmas intro. That by this point in the vlog, you've already seen. Um, it's based on some vintage clips I found online and then also one of me when I was, what year was it? 1997, so I was two. Whoa, I almost just fell off my chair. I'm so self-conscious of my computer screen and how smudgy it is. I just cannot seem to get the smudges off my computer screen. If you have any ideas, like there's definitely something out there that can help me with this. That is the least of my worries right now. So we have some clips I'm layering, I'm going to get my iPad out and letter a little something as I do. So for the music track down here, I actually am using a track that I used last year. Maybe it'll put you in your feels remembering this time last year, which when I watch my Vlogmas, it legitimately makes me sad because I did so many things. If it's the last thing that I do, we'll be having some fun this December, even if it means having fun in the comfort of my home while you guys watch me on the internet. So, <laughs> so we have that down there and then I'm gonna put some lettering up here. And I think this end clip right here of this old school um, 1957 Christmas tree situation will be where I put the episode number. I haven't played with the effects yet. I'm gonna make them look even more vintage and cool. I got these clips from Pond5. That's where I get all my royalty free stuff. So I paid for the rights for these. So yeah, I typically start my morning sitting here in the kitchen as I sip my coffee and my smoothie. I'm big on the beverages in the morning, <laughs> not alcoholic unless it's a mimosa. And then I'm gonna relocate out into my office, which I will show you guys. Okay, so I am taking my work into my office. <laughs> which of course isn't really an office, but I'm using it as my office. This is our sunroom, conveniently next to the tree, which keeps things festive. This contraption has actually saved my life because you can put your phone in here, like you just open it up like this, stick your phone in there and you can film like tabletop videos. So I've been doing a lot of how-tos on my Instagram on reels. I'm experimenting with reels. I got this thing per a recommendation from one of my friends on Instagram that does journal content. Her name is Journal Bean. She is unbelievable at journaling content. And I've always wondered how she gets her phone to be propped up so nicely above her spreads and she uses this. It's called a gooseneck. Oh my God, can you hear the rain? Look, it's like coming down out there. I fell victim to an Instagram ad that I saw and I picked this up. It's called a glass dip pen. If you see these ridges up here on the pen, basically when you dip it into ink, it stores a lot more ink than a normal dip pen. You don't have to keep dipping it as much, which is so nice. So this is my workspace. I like just sitting here looking out at the water. So a lot of you guys have been asking me for a little tutorial on how I animate text like this over video. My method is so scrappy and easy, not using After Effects or anything crazy, uh, it's just using Procreate and Final Cut Pro, super simple process. So I wanted to show you guys, it's gonna take like five seconds for those of you who don't care. I first open Procreate on my iPad, I set the backdrop to black, I set my pen to white, and I screen record, this is important. I screen record my writing. Procreate has a function where you can record your writing, but I don't like the outcome, so I always screen record and it looks really nice and clean. And from there, I just airdrop it to my laptop so I can pull it into my editing software. It'll look like this. I pull it on top of a clip in Final Cut Pro. Next, I crop the sides of the screen recording just so it's the black and white and nothing else. And then I go to the blend mode on the right hand side under compositing and I click either screen or add. And one of the two always works. I didn't say that the container wasn't microwavable. Ashley just microwaved the Trader Joe's buffalo chicken dip, something. Um. <laughs> Something sinister occurred. <laughs> Wait, so did you save it? Yeah, it's in a bowl right now. It was, I heard a lot of popping and crackling. I it was just <laughs> Buffalo styled chicken dip is where it's at, guys. We discovered this. I've never had it before, and it's it's like crack, honestly. Two tablespoons is sixty calories. Oh. So I just posted my Patreon December wallpaper a couple days ago, 
and it's made of these like beautiful dried flowers that a friend of mine, well, a new friend of mine on Instagram made for me and then I just did my lettering over top. And it's honestly like one of the best wallpapers I've made. I think slowly over time we're doing better in the wallpaper category. I'm putting together my schedule for the week right now and I think tomorrow, Tuesday, I'm going to do a bunch of Patreon content or schedule a bunch. I have some things I want to edit for that tomorrow. So I'm going to do Patreon stuff tomorrow. Um, I have a podcast collab on Wednesday. I'm just kind of planning out my week. I use my notes app on my computer slash phone because it sends to both, which I like. I'm just making a little note of what I got to do. Um, I already did a bunch of things this morning off my to-do list. So satisfying, just like checking things off the to-do list. We just ordered noodles and company for lunch um, because they have these really fun cauliflower noodles. Caulif what are they called? Cauliflutles? Mm -hmm. Cauliflutles. Might be good, might be bad. Who knows? <laughs> So my podcast today is about crazy, crazy exes and a story about Martha Mitchell, who was during, so during Watergate, during um, Nixon's re-election campaign, she was married to the campaign manager, her husband, John, and they were up to some sketchy stuff as we know. So when I was learning this growing up in school, I don't ever remember Martha's name being said, and Martha was a pretty big part of the story and just was never covered in school. So naturally on the podcast, I always talk about women like Martha and people that I just feel their stories haven't been told to the fullest extent or what they deserve. So today I'm going to tell Martha's story. Hey guys, welcome back to Thick and Thin with me, Katie Bilotti, and boy, do I have a crazy episode for you guys today, pun intended on that, because we're talking about crazy exes. What does it really mean when a person calls their ex crazy? What does it really mean when a person calls their ex-best friend crazy? So I'm done podcasting. In total, I think it ended up being an hour, an hour and 12 minutes, oh my God. But this is without any editing. I usually edit as I go. I'm in Final Cut here, you can see it's like just one long, long clip of talking. I usually edit as I go with these sorts of things, but like I said earlier, I've been encouraged to work with a podcast agency. So I have a producer that's gonna edit this for me. And it's funny, like throughout recording, I like left little notes. I was like, so cut this part out. I sound stupid there. Cut, I'm like telling Kate, the girl who's gonna edit this episode, little notes about what I want included and what I want not included. And I'm gonna say in the email, please make me sound smart. <laughs> so it's gonna be a really good one. I think people are gonna really like this one. So yeah, I'm done podcasting. The sun is like going down for the day. It is 4.50 and the sun is like completely gone. 